Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for my lovely Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising. As you guys can see here, we've already shuffled and pulled out the cards for time purposes. So let's jump right into your reading, Scorpio. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for the month of September 2018. Now, as you guys can see here, the first thing that pops out very, very strongly is you have all four out of five cards that are major arcanas, which is beautiful. This is talking about a lot of things that are synchronizing at the present time in your life. These are things that are out of your control. This is the universe, the stars aligning, uh, bringing and shining the light on you. So this is a very, just out the bat, very beautiful, um, very strong energy for sure, because you have a lot of spiritual cards and a lot of abundance coming towards you, Scorpio. So let's get right into your reading. So the first card here is the wheel of the year. And this has to do with your earth sign or sorry, earth element, which has to do with finances and business. The wheel of the year is definitely talking about, um, you've gone through difficulties in the past nonetheless the wheel is finally turning and it's taking you with it to the top so for those of you guys that currently have been working very hard putting effort in the business company that you work for you're definitely going to experience a lot of attention a lot of people honoring you a lot of people giving you the attention giving you the praise of how good and how effortlessly you're doing your job now, with the Wheel of the Year, this is also talking about striking luck in finances. So, my dear Scorpios, the best is yet to come as we are quickly approaching your month. Again, the Wheel of the Year is very beautiful. I like to see this card. Uh, I wish I could see this card actually in all the readings. Uh, as you guys can see here, we have all the elements. We have water, earth, fire, and air. So, this is talking about everything coming into synchroni synchronization. Uh, a completion and the the completion of it is that of your grandeur it's that of the attention uh, the attention of your hard work and determination that is finally paying out for a lot of you guys this could be major incentives for those of you guys that work off of commission for those of you guys that work uh, with sales all of this has to do with incentives progression um, abundance and for some of you guys this could also represent uh, the physical move of a job so it could be that you're transferred to another company or that you're being offered uh, to transfer to another location so very beautiful beautiful card um, Scorpio now the next card here is the Empress card the Empress card is all about beauty it's all about abundance it's all about growth and fertility for those of you guys that are not trying to get pregnant, highly encourage you guys to take very good care of yourselves as we do have the Empress here and we also have the Page of Cups. So this is definitely talking about very being very fertile um, and this could also represent accidental um, pregnancy because we do have here the Hermit card uh, and the High Priest. So again, if you're not trying to have children at the moment, please be very careful with that. Uh, the Empress here in your communication sector, this has to do with, again, communicating with people in your business or in your finance, sorry, in your business or in your company. Uh, this is having or making the right connections, uh, communicating with people or learning from people that are very uh, financially successful, that are have gotten to the um, epitome of success, uh, you know, networking, all of that. I, I feel that for the month of September, um, Scorpio, you guys are going to going to be surrounded by a lot of people that are goal getters. You're going to be surrounded by people that are very entrepreneurship type of energy. Um, and again, like I said, very you know they've created something, something that has to do with creation, whether it's um, them being entrepreneurs, whether it's them having their own business, uh, whether it's even you know coming very close in contact with uh, perhaps a you know, the business owner of the company that you work for that perhaps no one really uh, deals with or communicates with, I feel that for the month of September, they're going to be watching you, they're going to be around you, and you're going to be learning from them. So try the best you can to be a sponge, Scorpio, because this is definitely going to open new doors for you and for your success as well, as the Empress definitely uh, promises all of that. And as you guys can see here in this Empress card, we do have, you know, uh, stars around her her head, 
Uh, and this is a symbolization of uh, status, of abundance, of opportunities. Um, but also it talks about alignment and almost being able to see things materialize and manifest for you, things that you've been desiring or hoping for for quite a while now. So again, my Scorpios, keep at it. You will start to see a lot of growth and expansion. Now, your next card here is the Hermit card. And the Hermit card is a desire or a want um, to be a little bit reclusive. And it's almost like I feel that for some of you guys for the month of September, you're not going to be as social as you would want. But it has a lot to do with the fact that, again, perhaps work wise um, or in the business that you work with is taking a lot from you, a lot of focus, a lot of energy. Um so it's almost like you're you're going to want to de you're going to have this major desire or need to decompress when you're home. Um, and I highly encourage you to do so. So, again, if you don't feel as social uh, or you don't, you know, as outgoing as your usual self, uh, then I would highly encourage you to, again, um, try the best you can to decompress when you finally get days off or whatnot, because it is highly needed. And there is. Um, almost a need for recharging your batteries. Now, the next card here is the Page of Cups, and the Page of Cups is communication, communication that has to do with, again, a lot of people being very, um, it, it's very loving type of communication. This has a lot to do with almost when, when people start to appreciate you in the job that you're at um, or where you work at or, you know, e even they start to respect you in a sense. So it's almost like if they communicate with you, they're communicating with you genuinely because they do admire you because they, um, you know, have true, genuine friendship uh, type of energy there. So definitely very loving type and positive feedback. Definitely for sure. Now, finally, you do have the high priest here and the high priest definitely talks about commitment and uh, taking it to the next level. Now, for some of you guys that have been in a long term committed relationship, with the Empress card, I feel that for some of you guys, um, b before marriage came along, for some of you guys, you may have experienced that um, there was pregnancy involved before marriage, but I definitely do see marriage here in the cards as the high priestess here, the wheel of the year, uh, which is a different stage in your life, and the Empress. Um, so I definitely do see commitment. Um, for some of you guys, it could be engagement. For others of you, is actually setting uh, the wheels in motion to start planning for marriage um, or communicating about marriage with your partner. For some of you guys, uh, you may be dealing with um, you may be dealing with a Virgo. For others of you guys, you may be dealing with a Libra. And for, for others of you, it could also represent uh, another water sign like yourself, which would be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. Nonetheless, again, like I said, my Scorpios, this is a very, very strong, heavy energy in regards to finances and in regards to dreams manifesting for you guys. So now is the time. If you guys feel that, you know, you've been trying the best you can to move forward and it just been, it's been a challenge and it's been difficult for you guys, now is the time to really set your intentions and set them as clear as possible as the will of the year and the Empress is definitely promising you expansion, growth, um, a lot of financial stability and um, uh, financial abundance. Um, and I feel that this is going to come very rapidly for you guys. Um, so again, it, it's been long in the making, but you guys definitely deserve it. So very beautiful reading, Scorpio. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, and comment. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, definitely subscribe, and we'll see each other soon, okay? Bye.